You know what would be the the stupidest thing? If you would choose a direction to walk in that would be the completely opposite direction and then some some people find you like a thousand years later. If this man would have just walked directly opposite where he's at, <laughs> there was a Starbucks right there. <laughs> that would have been such a bummer. I would haunt the fucking desert. What would be for you guys the toughest place to survive, in your opinion? Like the toughest, you plop somewhere out in, on the earth, somewhere, a helicopter, whatever, throws you off somewhere. You gotta survive there for a week, what would be the toughest? London. London? The rent's too damn high. The goddamn rent, I won't survive a month. My finances can take this. Technically, I think it would be where there's no water. I see, I was gonna go the opposite with this. Cold? I was, or what? I was gonna, I was gonna say the sea. ocean, yeah, the oh. ocean. Yeah, okay, but we can't count the ocean because you would die if you get dropped in the middle of the ocean anyways. You don't know people have survived that. In the middle of the ocean. I mean, have you... Yes, maybe. But they had like a raft or something. They, they ended up... They didn't just... Okay, I just teleport to the middle of the Atlantic. <laughs> now you gotta survive. Like, there was this... Um, uh, I forget, <coughs> an, um, an American ship, I think during the Second World War somewhere near Japan that sort of sank and there were like hundreds of sailors in the water and in the nighttime the sharks ate most oh, of them. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I that heard that. That was that. intense, I don't know what, I don't know how many, if any survived. What? They were getting plucked one after one by the sharks. Imagine the fucking fear, middle of the night, you're just floating there like the shipwrecked, you're all like, okay, there's 500 of you or something. You're like, okay, at least um, we're together. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Rescue crew is uh, a day away. We can we can float here. And then your friend just whoop, underwater. You're like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> they got Bill. Panic sets in. Everyone's freaking out, pissing yourselves. And then the, <laughs> the sharks get attracted by the piss. You can't even drink your own piss. You can't even drink your own piss because it's underwater. Your girls yeah. will find a way. <laughs> You just gotta float on your back, unzip your pants and... <laughs> no, I think I know, I have a solution I, I for know, that. I know, a human centipede. You don't drink your own? Yeah, you drink someone else's. Yeah, yeah, you just drink it through a straw. Okay, we can't be dropped in the ocean. Yeah, we can't rule that one out, because we wouldn't survive. This is the desert, like the desert dunes, when there's, it's just sand. Ah, oh, just the sun. Yeah, it's sun, and you can't, it's hot, you can't walk on it. You climb one dune, you're exhausted, you sweat it out all of the water, and you're like, well... There's only a thousand sand dunes in every direction, so flip a coin. I don't even have a coin to flip which way to go. Getting cooked alive. You can flip the lighter. I, I, in this case, I don't even have the lighter. If I had the lighter, I can't burn sand. <laughs> it's not gonna be helpful for, for sand. You can't make a fire. There's nothing around you. There's only sand. Yeah, it's just sand. Nothing lives in the sand. You can find maybe like, you know, those little rolling spiders. <laughs> they just roll down. What? What's good? They can outrun you. They can just roll away. From you. Just outroll you, yeah. There's nothing. You're fucked completely. The nighttime is cold. You know, almost minus digging. degrees. You just dig, but you dig and there's more sand. I don't. I don't understand. I don't even know how deserts work. Is it just infinite sand and then rock? <laughs> like that's your that's your choice of material. Sand, 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 rock. Not a lot to fill in your inventory here. Oh, you can fill it up with sand and yeah. rock at some point. If you're lucky, if you get deep enough. Yeah, but then what? Do you just cover yourself with sand at night so it's kind of warm? It would be kind of warm because the sun did heat up the sand. Yeah, but I think the deserts get super cold during yeah, the night. Yeah, it gets to my minus degrees. It's the worst. It's like you either cook or you freeze. It's either or. On the best time, it's probably when the sun starts going down. You're like, ah, oh, it's getting cooler, it's nice, you know, and then it gets colder and colder. And you start covering yourself up with sand. You roll in the sand to get some heat. There's nothing you can do. Like, you can't make anything from sand, it's useless. If, if you, you make, make glass. If you make sandstone, that's that's useless. You can just dig and you'll find stone. No, that's true, you just gotta <laughs> dig the sand. Two, ma two materials, sand and stone, and you're fucked. What do you do? You can't squeeze anything out of it. There's no nothing to make. And you can't build on sand. Yeah, it's not a good foundation. I guess you just need to walk. You walk one way, and you just hope that you're going the right way. You follow the sun. Was it the Mythbusters tested this one, where if you actually, if you just keep on walking, eventually there is a... Or, yeah, you can eventually just backtrack on yourself, so you end up going in a circle. Without knowing. Yeah. You think you're going straight all the time, but you would start deviating off course without a uh, guidance or anything if it was just up to you couldn't you just follow the sun and like the stars at night if you just remember <laughs> like which ones you follow the, the problem is like you follow the sun the whole day and the sun is moving and then you fall asleep and then the sun is back 
So you gotta follow the sun. <laughs> the sun, you're gonna be walking backwards. Well, maybe you just make a rule that you walk only during a specific time of day, like in the very morning when the sun starts rising, you kind of walk until it goes right above you and then you stop because now you're kind of like getting confused. And then you kind of build a sand castle <laughs> and sleep <laughs> during the night or something. Or at the night you identify some stars, you're like, I know this is like in the general direction of the sun. That How the way. fuck would you know that? Because you, when you stop following the sun, you see which direction you're facing and you just sit there looking in that direction until the stars come out. Okay, what if it's cloudy? Well, you fucked. <laughs> you draw, you draw an arrow on the ground that points this direction. Yeah, you draw. There's so much sand you can draw in. You can just walk and draw a line while you're walking. You see if the line is straight or not. Well, but that's the thing. Like if you make it long enough, you don't see the curvature. It's true. <laughs> oh, now we're getting to some other territory here. You know what would be the the stupidest thing? If you would choose a direction to walk in, that would be the completely opposite direction, and then some some people find you like a thousand years later. If this man would have just walked directly opposite where he's at, there was a Starbucks right there. That would have been such a bummer. I would haunt the fucking desert. Be all alone walking that desert? <laughs> walk the goddamn desert as a, as a ghost. Ghosts though, are they real? Surviving the afterlife. Surviving the afterlife? <laughs> Maybe You're dead. So the easiest, pl so the worst place to survive is the desert. Yeah, I think it's the desert. What about these cold tundras where the soil is frozen solid, so you can't, it's just rock basically. This. But there's at least a tree. Also, you can yeah. you can melt the ice. With what? <laughs> just lick it. The big lighter. If there's snow, at least you can drink it. Yeah, you could just like eat the, the the snow. I think the 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 cold would be better than the desert somehow. Yeah. Because people survive in igloos and shit. Yeah. I don't. Do people live in the desert? Like, there's these dudes on camels sometimes, right? They walk mm -hmm. around. I don't know why the fuck you would be in the desert. Like, we just just don't go somewhere where there's other people. This where it's green trees. They use to clean dishes. The sand. Just kind of rub it on the dishes and. Just... You wouldn't have any dishes because there's no food. <laughs> There's no food, so you don't make dishes. This is the camels you bring along, maybe. Oh yeah, you can sleep on them. What the yeah, fuck does the camel them. eat? It doesn't have to. It's, it's, um, it's sand. It has its own inventory. <laughs> it comes. That's what the lumps are for. It stores the food there. I think I, for the longest time, people I think said that <laughs> that's where the, the humps are where they store.